solid 47% better than they were before. Hi friends, welcome back or to the channel. Uh, skipped some stuff because I didn't think it was going to be exciting to watch, you know. So I got this block all, let me get this out of the way. So I got the block all cleaned. All the gaskets scraped. And got her painted up. Got the uh, heads all painted and pretty. I'm not gonna you know, show you more painting on an engine, but but what I am gonna show you is freeze plugs. You can see I've already swapped one of them out. I've got three on each side. There's one big boy back here in the back. And two in each head. So one on either side of the head. But I picked up the kit from CarQuest this morning. So it was like 10 bucks for the whole kit of freeze plugs. And it also came with these little guys. Little Allen head plugs. Because back here on the back, they're thread in. Just three of them, so. Okay, have fun. Okay. So I'm just doing the big ones in the motor and on the heads. And I'm only gonna show you guys how to do one cause you know, you only need to see how to do one. So let's go. I know most people would uh, change their freeze plugs before they painted the motor, but I like the look of the freeze plug not being painted to match the motor. I like actually for whatever stupid reason, I like actually seeing that they've been changed, you know? So, the only tools you're really gonna need is some kind of a punch. I've got a Craftsman quarter inch here. A socket that fits the inside of your freeze plugs and doesn't have a, a whole bunch of play. So it's gotta fit kind of snug around the edges. A persuasion stick. And some grabbers. That's it. So let's uh, show you how we do this. Oh, you're also gonna need some silicone. I forgot that part. Probably don't need it, but you should use it. So you just take your punch. It doesn't matter, top edge, bottom edge, corner, side to side, it doesn't matter. Once you get it twisted like that, you just take your pliers and walk it right out. Now these ones are absolutely atrocious. These water jackets are uh, pretty dirty. <sighs> but don't worry about that. We'll, we'll cover that another day. So if you get that, grab your new one. And your your room temperature vulcanization cream and I like to just set it on top of my socket so it's stable I guess and in here you know what I'll get you guys closer and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay in here, you see how they've had this beveled edge and then it goes straight? All you have to do is get it underneath that beveled edge and and stop, that's it. That's as far as you need to go. Now there's plenty of room in here. There's plenty of meat for these uh, plugs to sit in. So you don't like, as soon as it gets flush, you don't have to stop, but that's the way I learned is really. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Have your rag handy. Take a, a dab of room temperature cream and just smear it around the outside edge. It doesn't take much. 
like I said, just a dab. And some people tell you you don't even need to use this stuff, but I guess I do because I like the security of it. Now, just set it in there. I gotta wipe this shit off my hands. My dumb OCD brain. I didn't do it on the first one and I realize how bad it looks now, but I'm lining up all the lettering to where it's straight and you can read it from the bottom. And then just and pay attention when you're driving it because see right now I'm actually low on this side. I'm all the way pressed in on this side, but not this side. So just take my socket. And walk that top edge a little bit. And that is money. See how I'm right at the edge of that bevel? Then I take whatever silicone got pushed out and just run it around that edge. Coincidentally, I had blue silicone, so it matches the paint anyway, but that's it. That's all there is to change in freeze plugs. So I'm gonna do the rest of them off camera and then call it a night because it's getting kind of late, kind of cold. But uh, this is where the fun starts, is reassembly of everything. So, okay, it's been some time, but you guys don't know that because that's TV magic. But I've got all of the freeze plugs knocked out on the heads too. The only one I haven't changed yet is that one. And that's just because I'm waiting for cam bearings to show up. So once the cam bearings show up, I'll punch out that rear freeze plug and we'll do the cam bearings and all that shit. So for now, what I'm gonna do is hone these cylinders. You see how they're all glazed? That's not good. Cause if they're glazed like that, then your rings don't seal. And if your rings don't seal, you're not making compression. Well, compression means, you know, it runs like ass. I wish, I wish I had a ball home, but I don't, and I don't want to pay for one because I don't build engines often enough to justify buying one, you know, but I do have one of these. This is a file hone, I think is what it's called. Basically, those stones, these stones, are really coarse, like, they come in different grits. And I think that one's like a 120. I could be wrong. It's been like 15 years since I bought that thing. So I'm pretty sure it's 120, but I don't know. But basically what that's going to do is you run it at a certain speed. And then you kind of just run it in and out of the cylinder, you know. And it knocks the glaze off. And it also puts a cross hatching pattern in your cylinder walls. And the cross hatching pattern is what gives your piston rings like somewhere to bite to. Just take this. I've already cleaned this with a brake parts cleaner. And I know some people say like, you should use warm soapy water, but I don't want to. I'm gonna do that after I get done with the honing. So I sprayed these a little bit with some WD-40 because lubrication is your friend. Ask any engine builder, mechanic, or your wife. So I'm gonna slide this hone in here, and then this is just WD-40 in a different spray bottle because I buy that shit by the gallon. So put a couple of squirts in there in that cylinder. And don't go fast with your drill or fast with your in and out. Run it in there for a couple of minutes, or a minute or so, whatever. Then, 
take you a little cleaner. It's right on the rack there. Just check your progress. Here, I'll let you guys see it. It's not done by any means, but we did get a pretty decent start on knocking the glaze out of it. You can see how glazed they were before. So I'm just going to keep up with this for you know 10 or 15 minutes or whatever and then I'll just come back when I get that one completely deglazed and I'll show you guys what it looks like okay we are finished with that one cylinder and it looks pretty good so here let's get this after I wash this I just rub some oil in the cylinders just so they didn't flash rust on me but let me get you a look-see at how bad they were See how glossy that is and how much like nasty shit's in there. That is what you want. Now my GoPro doesn't pick it up very well, but you're just gonna have to trust me that there's cross hatching in that cylinder. <clears throat> like I said, the GoPro doesn't pick it up very well, but it is Deglazed, it is cross hatched. Probably gonna run the hone in there, you know, three or four more times just for good measures, you know. And then I'm just gonna move on to the next one and the next one after that. And you know, you've seen me do one, that's enough, you know. By the way, uh, I'm hoping to have this edited and uploaded tonight. Sorry, it's such a short video, but I'm hoping to have this video edited and uploaded tonight. And if I do, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I, I know we're going to, we're gonna have a good time here. But, uh, you know, sorry this video is so short. I'm just kind of killing time waiting for my rebuild kit to show up, which sucks. I hate waiting on shipping, but should have ordered two days earlier, you know? But I wanted to go down and see if any of my local parts houses could get it, and uh, they can't. Not soon, anyway. So. I'm back. So I'm just waiting on repair parts. Once the kit shows up, then by that time, I will have all of this stuff cleaned, because I still haven't cleaned any of the head parts or nothing. But once all the parts, once my rebuild kit shows up, then I'll come back and Hopefully by then I'll have all the parts cleaned up. And I'll show you guys how to do bearings, how to check for tolerances with, with plastic, like how to do this yourself in your driveway with no machine work. Pretty easy. Just takes time, takes patience, and a little bit of information. So I'm going to stop rambling and wrap it here. So... Yeah, thanks for popping in, guys. I appreciate you coming to hang out with me today. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and do all the the things, you know. But remember, guys, your dreams aren't going to work unless you do. So go outside, get yourself into something, and get in over your head. Then figure out a way to get yourself back out. Love you, bye.